Welcome back to Two Furs Play. So, uh, we did this again. We stopped in the middle of, an ep of a mission, and we're back to the tower. And I we're... made mistakes. Ah, but we have good reason this time as to why we're so far back. So, <clears throat> remember, I remember in earlier episodes, I talked about how we're recording this before, like, this new DLC comes out, this whole, like, new thing they're introducing. That thing they're introducing was the Taken King. Now, the Taken King got implemented in, it's just not unlocked for everybody yet. It got take it got put in a few days before it was announced to be released. So basically everything the changed. small changes to the game were put in before the DLC was actually put in. Which makes sense. Yeah. Because now you have a chance to play around with the new things before you have a chance to actually buy the new one and see if like maybe all these new changes they made you don't like and you just want to quit. That Yep. Let's just assume that's the reason and not some other reason. Um yeah. but you! I enjoyed this game so much that I did excess farming beyond what I should have, and I even ended up making a new character, and she's now the same level as my hunter. Um. So, uh, I didn't realize how much he was farming, otherwise I would have had him use a different character or something. But anyways... No, I gained only a few levels, and two of those were on accident. Yeah, two of those were because of the new DLC content. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we're back at the tower again. A lot of shit has changed, unfortunately. But we're going to keep on pressing through because there's still oh, like a right. story to do. Now, in my farming, I got my first decoherent engram. My first rare or legendary or upgrade materials uh, engram. So I'm going to de... Uh, decrypt that. Also, I want to make it known. You never, like, continued the story at all. You literally did all your farming on Earth. Or the first area of the moon. Yeah. You literally, like, just never really left Earth. That is impressive. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. It was fun, though. I say it's a pain in the ass. It wasn't. It was just fun. I, I thoroughly enjoy this game. Um, so, basically... Before, the mission we were in was, uh, it was the next mission on the moon, the second mission on the moon, but when the new DLC hit, it, it implemented quests rather than just storyline. So, if I go here, I, it's right here, I, no, uh, there it is. That got implemented, so I now have to turn in the ghost that I found in the previous mission in order to unlock the next one. And since you still have a new character and all this stuff, you're actually going to have access to probably a lot more in forms of progression than I did. Yes. Since my character is from, like, the first week this game dropped. Also, I bought a, uh, a shader I'm super happy with. And you got a shader? I didn't even know about that. You Really? I was, I was staring at my character for a while. I didn't notice. You changed, like, all your armor. I did not, actually. It all looks uncommon. Like, it all, it all looks like it's different, so... Oh. Anyway... So, yeah. Uh, ooh, speaker's red. So the tower right. gunsmith, so it's that you get something. Oh, I'm getting a new weapon. Cool. Wait, return. Wait, what was that for then? No, that's another reward. You turn in your dead ghost, and you get another speaker's red. Oh, you got okay. two speaker's red. Okay, so let's go talk to the gunsmith, and then to Zavala to get a reward for reaching the level I'm at. Hey, maybe you can also go over to Xur and pick up some freaking uh, exotics or something, because apparently you did so well. I'm not actually going to be buying an exotic until I get one naturally. That is insanity. You are aware of that, right? Yes. By the way, um, once, we, once I hit a certain point, if, like, for whatever reason, I... Well... If for the reason it's super freaking hard to get an exotic, I don't get an exotic within the storyline. I you're not getting one within the storyline. There's no argument about that. You are not getting one in the storyline. Okay. Well, <laughs> the sheer stupid odds of you getting an exotic in this. You can still compare when you're in in there, right? You I'm, are aware. I'm just seeing uh, what types of damage I have. So I have a fire sniper rifle. Electric fusion rifle and void shotgun. Uh, you want to get a fire shotgun if possible. Fire fusion or rifle. Or a fire fusion or... rifle would be better. Yeah. Because a fire sniper is unreliable. And then I can get another one, so I'm just gonna get this shotgun and scrap it. Fine. 
All right. Um, also, we're not going to go over all the changes because honestly, by the time this has been released, I mean, you would have known the changes. Here's the thing: we don't know the changes yet. Not quite. No, not we all were. Of them. I was playing pretty much all weekend trying to figure everything out. And while I have a basic grasp down, like since there's a lot of stuff still behind the DLC wall, like it, the DLC sense. itself has not hit, so some objects are not available. So, uh, since those things are not available, we don't know how they work yet. And since the thing is so new, a lot of the nuances that have been released aren't out and available for people to know yet. So, unfortunately, there's not, there's very little we know compared to what you would know. Look at the shadow face. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have any strange coins on me. Well, you can actually spend, uh, motes of light to get, I, to I have strange over. coins, I, they're just in my vault. How many strange coins do you have? I don't know, six? Oh, well, that's not nearly enough. <laughs> oh, okay, what do we got here? By the way, found out this guy is voiced by my favorite actor, Nathan Fillion. That oh. makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Also, um, Dinklebot has changed. Dinklebot is now uh, no Nolan North? Yeah, That's Nolan North. Yeah. It's Nobot. Yeah, it's Nobot. Uh, gauntlets are... Hmm. Well, technically the gauntlets give you more, but look how much more does it give you in comparison to what you have. Okay. You can compare! I'm just looking at... Huh. Looking at what? You can discipline. learn... Discipline and strength. Oh, Jesus. Um, so every 20 is a new tier. So you're 6 away from discipline. Or 8 away. Yeah, I so I think... I'm going to grab... Hey, that discipline one will put you in the next rank. That's true, but it'll also... Low... You know what? It'll take me down to uh, rank 1 in strength, but rank 2 in discipline. That's... Or rank one in discipline as well, so I'm fine with that. Um, so yeah, it should be 55 seconds, 55 seconds, sweet. Just grab those, get that. And that probably made up for the loss of uh, armor. Yep. Uh, wait. Now, and the loss of armor also changes your light, so technically you did lose a bit more damage from that. Uh, no, because it was at 75 before. Because of equipment. Well, I meant uh, potential light. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. So you got faster reload time but on one of your abilities, but uh, nothing else. Oh yeah, you also got your new subclass. Oh yeah, I got Blade Dancer, and I've been using it, and it's fun. I enjoy it <sighs> much more than Gunslinger. I See, that's one thing that really annoys me. I really want to see your reaction to the Blade Dancer special. I haven't used it yet. You've seen it. I've you recognized it. it. Like, I, I was playing, and you instantly recognized it. That, that I had... recognized that there was an electric blade. Yeah, well, anyways. Anyway, uh, uh, to the moon. To the fucking moon. This yeah, is the was... worst series we've ever done. So much crap has happened. Yeah, yeah. I got really unprofessional with this game. Not just you, but, like, it also, like, the game changed in the yeah. middle of us recording. We should just start over. <laughs> no... All right. No. Uh, the world's ooh, the world's grave. There's in the very last room of this a golden chest. That's Why am I even here? <laughs> Sorry. Like I, I've never enjoyed a game as much as I'm enjoying Destiny. Never. Why am I here? There's got to be a way to find out what the hyper Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was sweet Nolan North voice there. No bot. <laughs> I'm actually honestly disappointed. I enjoyed Peter Dinklage and how shitty he was at voice acting a robot. Do you know what'd be great? Hmm. Since they have like the panels now where you can swap out uh, shaders and emblems and stuff, they had a panel for voice actors, and like they released two more or so voice actors. One of them could be Sam Jackson. Ah, <sighs> uh, Morgan Freeman. Oh, I would pay for Morgan Freeman as my the ghost. The world's grave is deep in that fortress, but according to the ghost we found, this ancient knight protects it. It's like, that would just be beautiful. I mean, it would take him forever to read all the lines. It would, but I would pay to have Morgan Freeman as my ghost. Morgan Freeman DLC. Fish, the Morgan nice. Freeman DLC just replaces every voice with Morgan Freeman. I mean, it's not like that they're silly, but they're very fun-loving, so I could see it. They like their shenanigans. Yep. Yipes. Don't shoot my ass. I, I said need don't. That. Okay. So, where are we? Okay. 
Hmm? I don't well, like you know going what? to hive places. Um. Well, good thing too, because we'll you're gonna do off it till another episode. For fuck's sake, I was leading into that. Why am I here? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>